this video will show you how to create a new company file extract setup way in QuickBooks so this is uh, uh, QuickBooks 2016 and here is create a new company if you see no company file all you have to do is just create a new company button right here or if you see new company under file it's right here under file new company you can click that one too so once you click it you will see uh, something like this QuickBooks setup screen and at this point all you have to do is express click this one express start and we also have a separate video for uh, uh, how to set up detailed start so you can watch that one too if you need it so this one is express setup click this one so at this point all we have to do is uh, uh, this field information here uh, business name uh, let's say business name is uh, uh, Carlos uh, let's say this one is an auto dealership type automotive sales and repair so Carlos uh, car sales okay and business type this is uh, you know you have a sole proprietorship or partnership or if filling out 1040 or 1065 or S corporation uh, let's say this one happens to be a single member form 1040 and you can fill out this uh, later on it will be like a 1 2 dash 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 type and you can fill out the business address and everything and so you can preview settings right here you like this it will give you uh, uh, basically your feature setting like this certain things like uh, estimates invoices managing bills sales tax statements time tracking uh, this is all selected based on your business type so you're selecting your business type is very important so this one uh, there's a reason for this so if you select uh, software uh, production then the chart of accounts will uh, will create differently uh, same thing with uh, item detail so as long as you, it's pretty close uh, you have to come up with the industry and uh, it's basically those two things chart of accounts you can uh, delete and uh, create another chart of account but it would be a lot of work so industry uh, you have to choose you can hit help me choose too so you can select that one too if you want like this from here this would be helpful right here you get a long list here and if it's not on the list you have to come up with uh, close to what's on the list okay and so now we're ready to create a company it will take a uh, a uh, few minutes we'll go through this so in the meantime uh, you have to think about your uh, your business address and just be ready for uh, uh, getting sales tax uh, number and business registration if you already have it that's great uh, so it's almost done okay so right here QuickBooks setup they already done the uh, uh, chart of account setup and everything so at this point you can just say start working or add your bank account so if you want to sync your bank account uh, with QuickBooks so this is the time to do it and uh, this is your add products and services you can click this one and then if you are uh, employees if you want to add some employees then you can do it here or just start working and you can do this later on if you want you don't have all the data right now you say right here no data right now no problem you can always add it later all right just say start working 
okay so this is the home screen uh, and mine happens to be a Camden version if you have pro or premiere then the screen will be different so I will just close this one uh, so once you have this so the, the, the important thing is the the chart of accounts is set up now you can go to chart of account from here or from company you also see chart of accounts right here or this outside on the home page here company let's click this one as you can see here they've already created a standard chart of accounts so at this point if you don't need any of these accounts uh, you can delete it uh, and you can add whatever uh, account you need but the thing thing here is you don't want to make a start of accounts too long then it would be very hard to uh, make it make you make it meaningful so uh, you know they have done some research and this is like a kind of standard chart of accounts for uh, uh, automotive sales car dealership uh, so this will do it and uh, so let's say if you want to delete any of these things, like a merchant one here, all you have to do is any of these accounts. So all you have to do is right click it, right here, right click it and delete account. And if you want to add new one, just click new one. Okay. And uh, uh, so, so if you are using uh, QuickBooks, Turbo tax for business at the year end, uh, the, all these accounts are mapped to uh, the QuickBooks Turbo tax for business. As you can see here, if you go for reports, uh, accounting and taxes, and account listing here, as you can see here, these are all listed in here. Um, all you have to do is on sign right now so you'll have to make it uh, click it and you have to assign it here so let's open it and see tax line mapping so uh, that's why it's designed this way uh, so if you are not uh, uh, filing using your uh, turbo tax and filing separately through your uh, CPA then you don't not need that one so you can just ignore it so that's mainly for when you add new account so new account let's say you want to add a bank account bank account right here so all that you do is right here see either just right click it to new account one way or come down here and select new it goes to the same place let's see you want to add bank account Okay, so bank name here. Let's say uh, Chase Checking. So this is the tax land map mapping. Uh, if you want to uh, use your Turbo Tax for business later on, uh, so you know they, they will give you twice in here too how, how do I choose the line here so if you want you can look at it that one right here okay so at this point uh, you don't want to enter opening balance in here that will just create uh, extra problem for you if there's an opening balance you want to enter just do it later you may have to reconcile the account so at this point, just save and close or save a new. So let's say seven new. So we want to create another one. Let's say uh, Chase Savings. And if you want, you can put the bank account in here, bank account number. Uh, if not, then don't worry about it. Uh, if you have too many checking accounts or savings account, you can just put the uh, last four numbers, one, two, three, four, five, like this. If you have more than one uh, Chase savings, you can do it this way. If you have this one, just ignore it. So seven, close. Uh, and so that's the chart of accounts. 
and you can also go to items and services so right now uh, you, you don't have any anything you will have to just add in here so you'll be if you are doing service or whatever it is uh, or non inventory part you have to do it uh, so that should do it for on this one uh, thank you for uh, thank you so much for listening uh, to subscribe to our YouTube channel our YouTube channel is uh, new QBO.